Yes, God's way is, a, is the way of love. And this red page reminds of, of God's love for us. For John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. And now God wants you to show his love to other people. Yes, Jesus must be our example. He must, our, must be our model that we want to follow. These people can be very unkind. Just think of the people that maybe say things and do things that, that hurts a person. Maybe they, they made you a promise and then they, they forgot all about their promise that they made you. So how can you show Jesus' love to them? By forgiving them. Or maybe there's other children and they are not so intelligent as you are. Not so good looking, not so nice. So how can you show Jesus' love to them? By being a friend for them. Yes, God made every child, every person special. Because we are made in God's image. And God says we must even love our enemies. And that's, that's so hard to, to love your enemies. But, but as we look at Jesus Christ, how he loved the people that didn't love him, then we know through the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit can give us strength, give us this desire to even love our enemies. But God's way is also a way of assurance. Because when you've trusted Jesus Christ, your sins were forgiven, this, your past sins, your present sins, and the future sins were forgiven in Jesus Christ. And this white page makes us think of that we are seen as pure before our Father, which art in heaven. Yes, we are pure in God's sight because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. But you say, but, but I'm not pure, Uncle Ronald. But, the, but we are seen as pure, as white as snow in Jesus Christ. Of who he is, we stand forgiven before the Father. So now we are not, we stand before the Father and we are not condemned. We are not separated from God. We are friends. And God also wants us to grow in this life, to become more pure and more holy, more like Jesus in this life. His God is also a God of growth. And when you look outside and you see all the green things, this green page makes us think of, of the trees that grow. Then you know it is growing, it is healthy. And what do we need to, to grow Yes, we need food to grow, we, we need exercise, and even we need friends to grow also. And, and God is a God of growth, and how do we grow in our knowledge of God? Is through reading the Bible, um, obeying God's commands, listening to God's promises that he will give us strength to say no to Satan and, and growing by resisting Satan. Yes, but we also need exercise. We need exercise so we don't just memorize our verses. We, are, we also look to see to whom can we be a good friend today? How can... Can I obey God's commands today? Yes, and we, because God wants us to be his friend and, and he wants to be our friend. But we also need to, to have Christian friends so that they will also help us to grow in our knowledge of Jesus Christ.